Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This week we have the test, the test on the possessive pronouns and the possessive adjectives. So hopefully you watched the lesson from last week and so you're ready. If you haven't, you probably want to go back and watch <laughs> that before we do this. Or you're just going to wing it. <laughs> bueno, okay. entonces, ya, ya estamos. Hay 10, 10 preguntas, ¿no? 10 preguntas. Entonces, hablamos de todo en la segunda parte. And as you know, please, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and also hit the like button if you like these tests so we know you like it and we keep on doing them for you. And remember that the pronoun book that we have on or with, that covers all of this is available on Amazon, it's available in audio and it's also available in Kindle. Mm -hmm. Bueno, pues empezamos con el test de los pronombres y adjetivos posesivos. Y yo no he mirado nada. ¿eh? No ha mirado, no, no ha mirado. Vale, so 10 questions is a mixture, sometimes it's a fill in the gap. Sometimes it's a translation. Okay. Ahora puedo mirar, ¿no? Las respuestas no están. Las respuestas están más abajo. Sí, pero tengo que ver la, la frase. Vamos a tapar, vamos a tapar para Gordon, para que no... <risa> ¿Cómo? Que no veo, no veo... Están aquí. No, no, miro allí. Vale. Eh, número uno. Our problems are only ours. Vale. Nuestros problemas son solo nuestros. Muy bien. So remember that problema is masculine. Ok. Mm -hmm. Just in case if you bring nuestras problemas. Problema is masculine. El problema. I was wanting to say son solo los nuestros. Nuestros. Would that, would that work? Or would... Uh, just no. You don't need to. You, you don't need to. say nuestros. Ok. Ok, number two. Esa chaqueta no es yours. Mm. Esa chaqueta no es tuya. Tuya. Also, suya, if suya. you want to use usted. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Tuya, muy mm. bien. So, why feminine? Tuya. Even mm. if it's a man you're talking to, because of la chaqueta. La chaqueta. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Número 3. No. Mine está en casa. Vale. So, yo diría el mío. Well, we're talking about the jacket. Ah, to, oh, still we're, the jacket. Ah, okay. We're still talking about the jacket. La mía, la mía está en casa. But if you've written el mío, because you didn't have a reference because you didn't know I was still talking about the jackets. That's fine. El mío, because we don't know. But if you thought we were talking about the jackets, then it would be la mía. And, yes. and I said, well, obviously la mía, uh, because when you say mine's at home, so now we've got two. Now we've got this jacket, we don't know who the owner is, and mine's at home, so that's why we say la mía. Plus, at the beginning of a sentence, we're going to say la mía, el mío, los míos, mm -hmm. okay? Número 4. No sé cómo lo haces, pero siempre te sales con... La tuya. La tuya. Muy mm. bien. Muy bien. That's that expression again of salir con and it's feminine. Salirse. Always. Salirse. Salirse, yeah. Salirse con. con. And it's always feminine. It doesn't matter. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it could be la mía, la tuya, la suya. Muy bien. Mm. Número 5. Cooking isn't my thing. Mm. A ver. Cocinar no es lo mío. Correcto. Cocinar no es lo mío. Did you, were you tempted to say cocinando? cocinando? <laughs> yeah. So why is it not cocinando? Because this isn't, that isn't the way that it's said. Cocinando is the act of doing it, but we're talking about cooking in general. In general. So we use, we use the, uh, the, the verb. In infinity. Cocinar. Exactly. Muy bien. Mm -hmm. Cocinar. Muy bien. Número 6. The salads are theirs and the, how would you say this word? Because it's a French. Canapés. Canapés are ours. Okay. 
¿Vale? Las ensaladas son suyas y los canapés, los canapés, dicen, ¿eh? canapés. canapés son nuestros. Muy bien. Another option could be las ensaladas son de ellos ah, sí. uh -huh. o de ellas. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Like if, imagine if it's just a group of women and you want to say this and you want to specify the women. De ellas. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. or men, for example, just men. De ellos. Yeah? And, and could we say de nosotros? No. Los can it no. sounds weird to no, me. No, like yeah? I said, we tend to use it more with his, hers, yeah, uh, theirs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we know it's a him or a her. Mm -hmm. Vale. Eh, papá, siete. Mm -hmm. Yo, plural. Tía está esperando en her apartamento. Ok. So, plural, yo. Diría, vuestra tía uh -huh. está esperando en su apartamento. Correcto. Muy bien. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, vuestra, because we're in vosotros, uh, and... I mean, obviously, if it was ustedes, it would be su, no? Su. Yeah, if, it, if you're referring to ustedes, if you're using the formal, then it would be su tía. But then it can't be because um, it says esperando os. Es, esperando os, yeah. So it yeah. would have been esperándoles. Mm -hmm. Okay, but be that, because of esperando os, then it's vosotros. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. um, número ocho. Um, I thought that our relationship was over, but we were on a break. If anyone has watched Friends, Friends. <laughs> we were on a break. <laughs> sí. It immediately came to mind. Yeah. <laughs> vale. Um, okay. Pensaba que lo nuestro mm -hmm. se había acabado, mm -hmm. pero... No sé cómo se dice on a break. Uh, to take a break or to be on a break is tomarse un descanso. Ah, vale. Ok, so nos estábamos tomando un descanso. Vale, vale. O estábamos tomándonos un, un descanso. descanso. Ok. Sí. Um, you've said, uh, pensé que lo nuestro uh -huh. uh, se había acabado. Uh -huh. Correct. I put había acabado, but it could be se había acabado o había acabado. Ah, ok. Ok, okay so, so both. Mm -hmm. eh, número 9. Difícil, eh, esa. Yeah, difícil, difícil. Número 9. No, estos zapatos son his. Mine son de color marrón oscuro. Mm -hmm. Vale, entonces, la mente un poco así, así, ¿vale? No, estos zapatos son los suyos, o suyos. Los míos son de color marrón oscuro. Muy bien, so, estos zapatos son suyos, mm -hmm. o los suyos, both could work. Because we've got two pairs, yeah. O son de él. De él. Because we know in English it's a his. Mm -hmm. So we could also say de él. So now we know it belongs to a man. Um, and then los míos uh, son de color marrón oscuro. Muy bien. And in that one it has to be los míos. Mm -hmm. Again, like we said at the beginning of a sentence. Or my ones. My ones. Los míos. Mm -hmm. Y la última, número 10. My flat and her flat are not that far away. Where is yours? Ok, yo diría mi piso y su piso no están tan lejos. Uh -huh. ¿Dónde está el tuyo? Correcto, correcto. What if I, you wanted to make clear to me that you're talking about her flat, a woman's flat. Y, y el piso de ella. Muy bien, so mi piso y el piso de ella. Uh -huh. Muy bien, o su piso. Mm -hmm. And then we have to say 
uh, El Tuyo because we're now we're, now we're, we're, we've got three pisos that we're exactly. talking about. Like your one. Where is your, your one? one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Muy bien. Mm-hmm. So I hope you scored more than more, more than, than five. Gordon. More, more, more than, than Gordon, eh? <laughs> which would be all of them. So I have learned eh, estábamos tomándonos un descanso. You see, the reason I don't know that is because Cynthia and I have been together and we've never had a br- we've never been on a break. And he, w- he hasn't watched Friends in Spanish. I haven't watched <laughs> Friends in Spanish either, no. So I don't Nos know that expression. Nos estábamos tomando un descanso. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a... Uh, I love yeah. Friends in... It's funny, you know, the Friends series, because I, I watched it in originally in Spanish because it came out in the 90s. Uh-huh. So I was a teenager and I used to... I loved Friends and I used to watch it in Spanish. And you know when you, you know the voices, it's like that person is Ross, that person is Monica, whatever, you know, the voices are like part of the identity of the person. Absolutely, yeah. And then I, I watched when I moved to England, I, or I, I don't know if it was in England or anyway, but I watched them in English and I had to adjust the voices in my brain. Exactly. So when I watch sometimes snippets, like if I, in, in Spanish, it's like, oh yeah, that was, that was the actual voice. <laughs> Funny. That was his real voice. That yeah. was the real voice, real not this voice. one. <laughs> and you, the same, you have the same problem with with all of the actors that you grew up with. All, all yes, the, 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 the dobla, uh, doblaje. Yes, no? because we. Well, it happens if you if you used to. It's like if you if you've watched I don't know anybody and you know that's the voice and then suddenly it's got a different voice. You go, who's that person? <laughs> yeah, because you, you didn't use to say Bruce Willis had a very sexy the, voice. The in worst, the worst changes to English. I mean, the, the, so the best voices in Spanish, better than in the, in the original ones, were Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis is really sexy in Spanish, his voice. Uh, Will Smith. Uh, mm-hmm. Will Smith, his voice is better in Spanish. And Homer Simpson. Oh my, uh, Homer Simpson is so much funnier in Spanish for some really? reason. Really? <laughs> yes. And it's difficult because sometimes the jokes, I go, how would they do that? In yeah, 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 yeah. And they do a really good job. Muy bien. Pues, Cintia, pues, muchísimas gracias por el test. A ti. ¿Y qué tal? ¿Qué tal? ¿Bien? ¿Más o menos? ¿Mal? No importa. <laughs> <laughs> Tenemos un libro. <laughs> yeah, if it, if it came out badly, then you have the book. Yeah, definitely get the book. If, it, if you had a bad year, get the book. Vale, entonces ya... Nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós.